Hello, my name is Kashwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kashwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the one that you will find on page number 85. Please turn to it. Page number 85 and today is our lesson number 35. Today we'll talk about Roman numerals, how to convert Roman numerals into Arabic numerals and Arabic num numerals into number Roman numerals. So let's get going. We have to start out with something very basic, something very fundamental, which are the symbols that we have to understand. But before we get to that part, the very first thing we need to understand is that Roman numerals are, are additive. In other words, we keep on adding stuff until we get to where we want to go. For example, for example, something simple as 17, something as, as simple as 17, which is not a problem at all to write it using the Arabic numerals, but before the Arabs invented the numbering system, the numbering system that the Europeans were using is the Roman numerals here, and that was a that was that was additive system where 17 would be written as where 17 would be written as 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. This is how Ro Romans would write their 17, and it's additive. 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. This is how 17 is written. Obviously, this is what we mean by Roman numerals are additive. Let's look at some basic symbols, shall we? M equals well, M is where. M stands for, M stands for, in French, in Latin, mil means 1000. Mil does not uh, mean million. In French, the word mil means 1000. And that's hence the letter M stands for 1000. 1000. Next we have is D. D stands for 500. And D comes from, comes from the fact that they refer to 500, they refer to their 500 as Demi meal. Demi means half, half a thousand, and hence D stands for 500. If you think it logically, if you make sense out of it, it'll be easier for you to memorize this symbol. D is very simple. It stands for demi, half, demi meal. Let's keep on going. The next we have is next we next we have is 100, which is also very straightforward because C stands for the century, which is very very simple. Everybody knows it. C stands for century, 100. The only one that you will have to worry about, the only one that you will have to worry about remembering it is this L part. L business is very awkward, which stands for 50. And then you have your 10, and then you have your 5, and then you have your 1. And of course these we already know because these are very simple to know. So there is not much in there except the 50 which is, uh, which is L. There is not really much there to memorize. One more time, M is for mil, letter M stands for mil, which means 1,000, and D stands for demi mil, which means half a thousand, 500, C for 100, and so on and so forth. Just a few practice problems, shall we? We'll start, by, uh, start out with something simple, and then we'll do a little bit more complicated something later. Let's, let's do them here. 4, 9, 40, 90, 400, and 900. Why don't you pause the video if you have to and see if you can write them on your own. These are very straightforward as I said. Four is simply you write your five and you write the I to the left of it. As long as the lower number, as long as a symbol, listen carefully, as long as the symbol, symbol deno denoting a lower value appears to the left of the symbol denoting a higher value, then that lower value is to be subtracted from the higher value. Nine is the same way. We'll write our ten first and then take away one from it. We we'll take away one from it. This is our nine. How would you write fifth? How do we write forty? Well, you write your fifty, and you take away ten. How do you write your hundred? Or how do you write your ninety? You take away your. You write your hundred, and you take away ten. Or how would we write four hundred? Well, we we'll write demi mil, half a half a thousand, which is d, and take away a hundred. How do we write nine hundred? Well, you write your thousand, you write your thousand, and take away a hundred. That's all. So that's, that's that's pretty straightforward here. Let's do a few more, shall we? Let's do a few more. Let's do them over here. I need the room so we're going to have to erase this thing here. Let's do a few more. 2010, 900, 800, 400, 420, 
60 and 40. See what you can do. Some of them are repetitions, I know. Some of them are repeated. I know that. I'm aware of it. And 150. Let's see what we can do very quickly, okay? So how do we write how do we write 2010? It's very simple. The only way Roman knew of writing 2010 is a thousand plus a thousand plus a ten. A thousand plus a thousand plus a ten. There you go. 900 would simply be a thousand minus a hundred. 800 would be 500, 500 which is demi mil and then three more hundred. 400 would be your 500 take away a hundred. 420 is same as 400 and then 20. 60 would be you would write your 50 which is L and you add 10 to it. 40 would be so you write your 50 this time and then 10 will be to the left of it because you're taking away 10. How do we write 150? 150 is very easy. It's just 100 plus a 50. 100 plus a 50. 100 is C and 50 is L. That's all. Let's do two more, shall we? Let's do two more. I'm going to put them on the top here. And then what I want you to do is pause the video and see if you can do them on your own. Let's do them here. I want you to write 647 on your own and 2013. See if you can do it. Pause the video, do it on your own and then compare it. We're going to do them here. First, 647. 647. How would we write 647? 647 will be written as 500 plus 100, that's 600. Then we'll write 40 and then we'll write 7. How do we write 500? 500 is demi mule, which is B and then a C. How do we write 40? 40 is 50 minus a 10. And how do we write 7? 7 is simply 5 plus 1 plus 1. There you go, we are done. So there is your answer. 647 is, 647 would be 500 plus 100, 600 plus a 40. This is your 40, right here is your 40. And then a 7. That's how we write 647. Of course, you want to leave space in between. There you go. Let's write two, 2013, shall we, on the top? 2013. 2013 is very easy. It's just 1,000 plus 1,000 plus a 10 plus a 3, which is simply going to be M, M, 1,000, 1,000, 10, and 13. There you go, 2013. Let's do a few more, shall we? Well, actually, we're done with everything that I had on the, on the, on the page here. Let's do the two problems that they give, uh, that, that they give us uh, on, on the page there. The, uh, one or two problems. I Example number 240. Let's do that. Maybe we already did it. Example number 240 says what? Example number 240. Oh, we, have, we are supposed to cross that, that number. Where can we do it? Let's do it here. Actually, I shouldn't have erased this thing. I don't want to erase this thing. Let's do example number. Two forty. M C C X X X I V. Is that what it is? It says an antique gold coin is stamped with the date M C C X X X I V. What is this date in Arabic numeral? Well, that's very straightforward. There is your 1000 plus here is our 200, here is our 30, and here is our 4. That's it. One, this is 1000, not 100. 1000 plus 200. 1000 plus 200, so that's 1200. 1000 plus 200 and then 34. There we go. Let's do 2.41. It says uh, Al Khawarizi, I believe. Rizmi, which I find very interesting because I, I was always told that the guy who invented algebra was some guy whose last name was Al Jabbar, hence algebra. Algebra is a deformed version of the word, guy's name, Al Jabbar, we were told. But they have a different name here. Anyway, 
825 is the year that we're given and we are asked to convert this thing into into Roman numeral. How would, how would Romans write 800? The only way they knew of writing 800 was 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 and then of course 20 and then 5. This is the only way they knew of writing 825. So 500 is B, 100 and 100 and 100 that's C, 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 a 20 would be written as 2 X's and finally the 5. That's it. So it's D, B, C, 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 500, 600, 700, 800, X, X, that's 20 and then 5. That was it. There are some problems on the next page that we have to do. We'll do those tomorrow because if you, as you turn the page you will see that they all give you only three problems for practice. Tomorrow we'll do a few more than that. We're, we're going to do some few extra ones. So we'll do those all together tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.